I'm really excited to tell you about this new procedure we have for treating blockages in the coronary arteries. It used to be that we could not reliably treat 100% blockages in the coronaries, but now we can. And I'd like to show you with a, a model of a uh, coronary how this is done. Normally, when we treat coronaries, we pass our equipment down the middle of the coronary artery. And um, once we pass a very, very thin wire down the coronary artery, uh, we then pass a little tiny balloon that um, we inflate inside to make an opening. Then um, what happens is we pass another balloon down uh, which has a stent on it. A stent, as you know, is a wire mesh that props the artery open. So let's say this is uh, the balloon and this is the stent. We pass it into the coronary. We inflate the um, balloon and the stent expands and then we deflate the balloon and the stent comes out and the balloon comes out and you're left with a nice big opening. The problem with 100% blockages in the coronary arteries is that if they've been there a really, really long time, they get really, really hard and we can't pass our equipment through. And right now we're stuck with just treating them with medicines or in some instances bypasses. Um, but some people have had a bypass operation, the bypass closes and then they have severe symptoms because of this blockage. So the new technology uh, thinks of the coronary in a very, very different way. Instead of going down the middle of the artery, what we do is we actually make a new opening in the wall of the artery. And we pass the equipment down the wall, around the blockage, and then re-enter the artery downstream. And once we do that, we put our balloon in, and then we put stents, and basically build a new tube um, around the blockage. And I actually have a, an example of a stent here that we can put in. And basically what happens is the stent goes around the blockage uh, like this. And then we in expand it and make it the same size as the artery. And the patient then has a new tube all the way around uh, where the blockage was. So the other really exciting part of how we treat uh, coronary arteries uh, in the heart is that with this new technique, we can actually go into the artery backwards. And the best way to explain that to you is by showing you on this heart model. So if this is a heart, the coronary arteries sit on top of the heart. And for instance, in red here is the artery to the front of the heart. Over here is the artery to the right side of the heart, and it comes all the way around. And then over here is the artery to that which goes to the other side of the heart. Well, normally we go down the artery this way to get to a blockage. But even with this technique, sometimes we can't get past the blockage, even trying to get around it. So with this new technique, what we can actually do is approach this blockage backwards. So what happens is we take a, a, a second tube and we pass it into this artery and with our equipment, we can go all the way down the artery, then down inside the heart, come out on the bottom, on the other side of the heart, and get back into the artery down here, and then thread our equipment backwards up into where the blockage is, and then attack it from both sides. So this is really exciting, because up until now, we had a lot, we, have, uh, we had patients that had 100% blockages that we couldn't do anything for. Um, we give them a lot of medicines, the medicines can have side effects, and they still have severe chest pains. They're unable to do their daily activities, they're unable to uh, function, and they're suffering. And all we could do is give them more and more medicines. But now, we have another option. And it's really exciting because we hope to be able to treat more people, help them have much better quality of life, and to do the things that they want to do.